adding the habit of first things first is incredibly powerful for productivity. When you know what your number one priority is and you act on it, then you don't mess up the number one priority. My number one priority is to take care of myself. That means to take care of myself physically, emotionally, mentally, and spiritually. That is my number one priority. Nothing that ever happens is ever more important than that. Because no one else can take care of me as easily as I can take care of myself. The whole rest of the world could make grand efforts to take care of me. And yet with a little bit of effort every day on my part, I can accomplish what the whole world could not accomplish for me. The number one priority means that nothing is ever more important than that. No project I'm working on is ever more important than taking care of myself. No relationship I have is ever more important than taking care of myself. And here's the thing. I have a wife. I have a child coming. If I cannot take care of myself, how am I supposed to take care of my wife and child? If I'm saying I'm putting my child first and then I'm not taking care of myself physically, emotionally, spiritually, and mentally, what is my child going to get out of that? They're going to get a parent who's irritable, restless, discontent, angry, frustrated. They're not going to get very good care. And so number one priority in my life is taking care of myself. And number two is taking care of being a good husband. That's number two. And number three is being a good parent. Because my wife and I parent through our marriage. If our marriage is not good, we will not do as good of a job being a parent. We are a team together. And so in order to serve our child, we must each take care of ourselves and then we must each be there to serve each other. And then through that unity, we can serve our child. That means that knowing my top three priorities, nothing gets in the way, especially of number one. That helps me make all of my decisions in a productive manner. If it comes down to, should I try and work harder on this project or should I take care of myself? Take care of myself. If I'm hungry and I want to finish this project, which is more important? I'm hungry. That's more important. If I'm hungry and my child's hungry, which is more important? I need to eat first. Because if I am hungry and I'm trying to feed my child, I'm not going to do it in as good of a loving manner as if I have something to eat even very quickly, even if it's just a banana, I have something to eat, then I can help my child out from a place of being full. I can give my child food from a place where I'm already taken care of. If my wife needs something and I have to do something for myself and they're of equal importance, now that it's all you have to do your best with things, If I'm taking care of myself each moment, then I am in shape to be there if something emergency happens. If, say, my wife gets in an accident or she needs my immediate help or the baby's about to be born. If I'm taking care of myself every moment, I am automatically in shape to do whatever my wife or my child or whatever you need. Then my work comes down and maybe around a fourth or fifth or sixth priority. Because if I haven't taken care of myself, I haven't taken care of my marriage, I haven't taken care of my child, and I haven't taken care of my responsibilities as a friend and family member, I am not going to do a good job making this course with you. For better or worse, I cannot do good videos while I'm mad at my wife. It sabotages, it destroys all of the peace and serenity here you see. If for some reason I'm mad at my wife, I have to drop everything I'm doing and get to a place where I'm not mad at my wife. If I'm mad at my mom or something, the same issue. I have to take care of myself. 
I have to be of service to the other people. And so that helps me be more productive. It's funny how I see people, I mean, it's sad, it's sick also. You see people that are out there trying to put on, they're doing something so much at their own expense. And what rarely happens is good work. What rarely happens is high quality work when people are working at their own expense. That's why slave labor doesn't work. You've got to take care of your workers if they're going to do good work. You've got to take care of your employees if they're going to do good work. If you place employees in a loving, good position, they'll do good work. So first things first, that's how I make all of my decisions today. Nothing ever is more important than number one. Nothing is ever more important than number one. I am here to be of service to other people. I cannot be of service if I am not in service. If I'm hungry or angry or lonely or tired, I can't help anyone. All I will do is hurt others. If I'm not taking care of myself and I've learned this the hard way, the absolute hard way, I, when I'm not taking care of number one priority, I will bring hurt and pain and suffering into everyone else's life. And so I'm grateful that I've learned this. When I'm taking care of myself, I have the ability to be a good husband. I have the ability to be a good parent. I have the ability to be a good son, brother, friend, family member. I have the ability to do these videos. If I'm not doing number one, if I haven't eaten right, if I'm not sleeping good, and there's a difference between getting a certain amount of sleep and doing my best to take care of my sleep. If I'm doing my best to take care of my sleep and myself, then I can do everything else. If I'm not, I can't do good videos here with you. Some of the days, the worst videos I've made were when I tried to make one even though I wasn't taking good care of myself. It's amazing how bad those come out. And so thank you for sharing this with me. And I hope this is useful in seeing what you can do to be most productive and most of service.